My name is Lindsay. I'm a pediatric audiologist, so I test babies' hearing. I've lived in Los Angeles for seven years now. The older I get and the less drinking and bar hopping and club going I go, it's harder and harder to meet people in real life. So the event that I'm going to tonight for Bumble, it's gonna be like the most LA event ever. It's gonna be breath work. There's a kombucha happy hour, some manifestation, writing down our wishes on little pieces of paper and then like putting them up in flames and fire and like watching the sunset on the beach. So it should be a really fun, good event. So it's, it's very helpful to me that I can just go online and like, Amazon kind of <laughs> click through for what I'm shopping for a single man that I'm interested in and attracted to. I don't meet a lot of guys at my Pilates class <laughs> and blogger events. They're just not there. Um, so I've been to enough events and I met enough nice people that I know that, you know, not all of them are going to be where I meet people, but I've been, I've made friendships from them so I know that it's possible at least. The message and the the movement of them trying to end misogyny and empower women and give women the power in relationships so I do really like that about Bumble. There's also freestyle dancing involved. <laughs> in a room full of strangers. So most of these things make me very uncomfortable. So that's the other reason why I wanted to do it with other strangers. And I feel like that's good kind of practice or like priming for dating. The last Bumble date I went on was last week. At the end, it was pretty good. I think he was trying to kiss me at the end and I got really uncomfortable and like froze and gave him an awkward hug, but that's pretty typical of me. And then, he said he wanted to hang out after my family left. Um, they visited this past weekend and then I never heard from him again. <laughs> what do you 